very good evening my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new live trading session from extreme trader this is Salah speaking so actually earlier i have promised you that i'm gonna try to do to do live trading sessions every single day but however this is really hard for me and i'm still gonna do my best but however what i'm going to do is instead of uh, recording a long session i'm just going to record one or two trades maximum per day and that's it because um it's really frustrating for me to record the, the live trading sessions and explaining them while trading on live account if i was on demo it's okay i can't do it the whole day but it's trust me when you are on live account it's completely completely different experience and you just need to get used to to do to do trades on the live account however um i was actually looking at the gold right now and the first thing i noticed that the gold right now is moving in high volatility so if we look on the four hour time frame um the four hour time frame can show the clearly right here that we have a broken support level as we can see my friends this is the support level as we can see and this this if you look carefully you can see that this was actually the only bearish breakout candle that actually has closed as a full bar below that line this was of course a fake breakout uh this was the attempt number one of the support but however this candle right here represents the first breakout from this long-term support level right here as i said before not a single candle has actually managed to close as a full bar below that line therefore it indicates that most likely this is a bearish breakout candle and actually i can tell this by looking at the price action um remember right now i'm on the four hour time frame and by looking at the price action this candle actually it looks like this with a small wick at its top and a small tail at the bottom if you see the breakout look at that look at that the candle is falling if you see the candle the breakout candle looks like that it must most likely indicates a continuation in the fall actually i i i think i'm a bit late let me go back to the 15 minute time frame ah uh, i'm late i'm late i'm late you see you see this is the reason why i really hate sometimes recording the live trading sessions because i was busy explaining to you about the breakout candle and i think i have missed my opportunity because actually i was planning to place my sell order exactly right here on the very same level of that uh, tail uh on the 15 minute time frame of course right now i cannot enter because it's gonna be actually 11 pips uh, late and there is a chance that the trade might actually goes in loss so uh, it's all right i think the pair is losing is sorry is uh, moving faster yes it's moving faster right now and i think uh, yes yes we can get actually a good entry again i'm gonna wait for the gold to reach exactly this level of the resistance exactly right here and i think this is gonna be fibonacci 61.8 almost this is between 50 and 61.8 which is actually good uh anyway i think the candle is falling anyway um we just have to yes look at that look at that that was the reason i was planning to place the sell order uh the, the movement was strong and the bearish momentum is quite strong also and as we can see the candle is falling so um yeah that's it <laughs> see you guys and hope hope that was informative to you and i would like to thank you for watching come on no no don't, don't think i want to do that no way um let me just now wait another opportunity okay i okay the candle is rising okay guys let me please now pause the recording and i'll be back to you once the candle uh, reaches uh, a good level to start shorting again all right so the candle has rose as we can see it's almost there uh it's just like two or yeah just uh, three or four pips i think just barely three pips and i'm going to start shorting night right now I'm nervous because actually I'm going to use one lot on the gold. Uh, that is not an easy decision. Yes, perfect. And of course, I want you guys to notice uh, the spread, which was... Um, the gold is right here. Uh, the, the spread, which was 1.3 pips only. And of course... Um, this is because I'm using, of course, IC Markets Broker, and I really encourage everyone to give it a try and uh, try their services, which I think is amazing. And I still believe IC Markets is the best Forex broker in the world, and I believe nothing can change my mind. Um, recently, we have switched to IC Markets Global, and I think this was a very good move because right now we are no longer... Uh, uh, following the Australian uh, regulations and this is actually awesome news and I hope it's gonna be a good beginning for better trading experience with IC markets 
so far uh, that read actually I'm just trying to entertain myself by speaking because uh, the losses are big so far and I'm not used to trade with such a huge account for me usually I reach two thousand dollars by the end of Friday or a Thursday but however I decided this week that I'm going to start depositing bigger amounts and trade them so losing about hundred dollars in one trade should be normal thing I just want to de deliver the message that I'm just a single or just a simple trader who have experience and knowledge and just sharing it with you you don't see me right now right now I'm just um, how can I say this in English I mean I'm just um, how can I say this just holding my hands and just hoping for the best and I really want this trade to go well and I just want to get out with uh, this trade with a decent profit so anyway uh, let me just um, set the stop loss right here to be 20 pips equivalent to $200 and I'm going to make the same as the take profit level now of course since I'm on the on the 15 minute time frame since I have placed my trade right here on that previous resistance level now I should exit my trade at the nearest support or resistance now of course it's very obvious that since I have placed my trade right here on that resistance the nearest support to my entry is exactly this support level right here on um, 1723.82 therefore uh, the profit should be about $163 which is a fine limit I think um, most people will tell me but Salah your risk to reward ratio is very bad because the stop loss is bigger than the take profit now the thing here is I'm not gonna let the trade to reach the stop loss the stop loss is there just to stop the bleeding just if, if in case the trade went against me suddenly for whatever um, unexpected news or some tweet from someone you know him <laughs> I don't know if his tweets anymore uh, make any impacts on the market to be honest but however I'm just giving examples anything just an expected that can can actually make, cause this trade to go against me uh, however I'm focusing on the tech profit level and of course also I'm gonna close the trade if it, even if it's not even triggered by the tech profit level if it's very close to the tech profit level just like one or two pips away I'm still gonna close it the thing is I really hate using these automatic orders uh, the automatic stop loss automatic take profit level pending orders I really hate them I believe if you want to be a successful trader you always have to be trading by yourself uh, you have to trade manually this is the best way and I'm very happy because the, finally we are, right now we are in the profits <clears throat> I know you might feel that I'm nervous in my sound <laughs> sorry you might feel in my sound that I'm nervous uh, I am I am I am yes I am trading with one lot on the gold is something big for even for me and I'm not used to do it I'm just uh, hoping for the best and I decided I'm gonna use my knowledge to earn more money and hopefully uh, end of this week I'm going to reach at, at least five thousand dollars on this account and I'm really hoping I can do it I, I, I know myself and I know my, I know my abilities and I think I can do it anyway uh, I know I'm speaking too much I'm talking too much but however let's now watch this trade together and I think there is no need I think because the trade is moving very uh, fast is going towards the tech profit level so far running in about eight pips of profit yes very good and uh, I nine pips <clears throat> All right, I think I'm gonna just speed up the recording and let's see how this trade will go. And as we can see, the trade is getting very closer to the tech profit level right now running in 13 pips of profit and it's just like two pips away from the tech profit level. I'm going to close it manually right now with $121 of profit. Fantastic, very great. I'm happy with that. Okay, enough with the gold. I'm I'm mentally tired of the of the gold. Let me search for another setup. And right now I'm on the four hour time frame. Um, I'm looking for any good setup, and it's not that easy actually to find something. Uh, we're just looking here and there, uh, hopefully to find something good that we can enter for scalping. I'm actually a scalper, guys. I don't like uh, swing trades. You know me. Uh, that's far. Therefore, I'm just looking for. Um, the perfect entries it's not that easy to find you need to find a setup with um, for example if you have a previous resistance level this is the previous support sorry if you have a previous support level and you can see a bearish breakout candle has actually broke out from that previous support level 
you need to find a setup that actually represents the first attempt of a resistance right after revisiting the same level of that previous or that of that broken resist uh, support level so you just want to see the first attempt once the market actually break out from that support level then try to find the attempt when the market retesting that broken support or vice versa of course if you see a, 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 um, a broken resistance and you are looking for the first attempt when the market retesting that broken support so actually i'm just trying to find something here and there um so far nothing so since i cannot find anything on the four hour time frame i think i'm going to switch to the one hour time frame to look for the levels let's go back to the pound and zd so on the pound and zd right now that's actually not that bad to be honest uh, as we can see right here on the one hour time frame we can see that right here okay that is good exactly here we had a previous resistance level which was also a resistance right here and remember the same level of that resistance was also previously a support and right now the market actually is on the uh, support level number two why salah it's the first attempt no this week right here this tail right here represents support number one right now you, you are here my friend on support number two let's switch to the 15 minute time frame to see it closer look at that this is the bullish breakout candle from that resistance level as i have mentioned earlier this is the resistance this is the breakout candle breakout candle and right here we can see that this tail right here represented a support number one so right now actually we are on the creation of support number two that's actually gonna be a good entry and by the way i trust this candle this blue candle right here represents what we call a reverse hammer and actually it is a very good indicator for a bullish reversal so most likely the price actually gonna continue the rise at least to hit that previous support level right here this tail right here represents the previous support level so actually that's gonna be about 20 pips perfect so i think we can i just want yeah yeah it should be fine should be fine uh yes the candle is rising already um because i'm looking right here guys at that support level right here uh, let me draw it as a zone so it's going to be easier for us to see it like that exactly like this so what i did actually was just um placing my trade right here on that previous support zone which i believe is going to keep the moment the level because the very same level of the support has become also a resistance zone and check that orange uh, zone i have drawn here the market couldn't actually break out from that zone and eventually the market actually has shown a strong bullish momentum and the breakout has happened so if you want to see it on the bigger picture because actually i'm i'm looking for the details i'm looking to the to the to the minor details actually rep, uh, saying that this is a support number one and this is support number two if you want to look at, at it at the bigger picture you can assume actually that this was the first attempt i think if we go to the bigger time frame for example 30 minutes uh, we, can, we still can see the tail here go to the one hour time frame we can still we still can see it go to the four hour time frame and we don't see that tail anymore and of course as i'm telling you always the bigger the time frame the uh, more accurate direction of the market you will get so go back to the 15 minute time frame and first of all just for the safety let's just uh, uh, select our stop loss right here and of course for the take profit level as i mentioned before it's going to be right here just at the previous tail or the nearest tail to the breakout candle or the nearest support to the breakout candle now for entertaining uh, let me just move to the one minute time frame and let me now speed up the recording and let's see how this trade will go All right, so as we can see, the pound and ZD has finally rose and the pair is just, uh, I think, like uh, maybe two pips away, two, 2.5 pips away far from taking from the take profit level. A hundred dollars of profit. I think I'm going to close the trade right now and close it and get done with it. Look at that immediately falling down right after closing it in a good profit. So 
yeah i'm very happy about that and i think i'm going to continue sculpting but of course i'm done with uh, explaining and recording actually i need to do a lot of other things and i need to take a break and of course I will, i'm going to do some sculpting later uh, right now it's actually uh, the market is uh, somehow moving in high volatility and i think i need to wait for few, uh, f some few min more minutes before um continuing the sculpting so uh, I think this was a good session and I believe I was I have managed uh, to explain a few things for you but of course I want to first mention here something I have noticed while I'm while I'm in the trade actually um, uh, on the one hour time frame or 30 minute time frame actually we can notice that right here um, I have placed my trade right here when the pair was actually on Fibonacci 61.8 I forgot to mention this but as we can see this was one of the reasons also why this trade has uh, success so of course um, more is coming about uh, the live trading sessions using Fibonacci retracement and support and resistance so I think that's uh, that's it for today I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching